that actually transitions well because here's this 205 live show that WWE was very high on in 16 and put the building blocks uh, towards and in 17 just it it crumbled bad throughout the year didn't it the problem with 205 live is that they pushed too many wrestlers out of the gate with no gimmicks or characters so how are you going to invest in a product where they can't even invest in the characters Mm -hmm. um they've you know, they brought in Enzo, uh, who's their most marketable star, but he already had an established character to begin with. Um, there's a few guys who are starting to get characters, but then there's still like 10, 15 guys who are kind of characterless that just wrestle. Now, now even Enzo coming in is just a little bit more of a, I guess you'd call it a, uh, a, ha- a happenstance or a happy accident because, you know, don't forget that that was supposed to be a... L- not a long-term program with him and Big Cass feuding, but uh, Big Cass, you know, obviously getting hurt, shortened that feud up considerably. Uh, I think he got hurt the night after SummerSlam, was it correct? Uh, yeah, the, they had a one-on-one match, and yeah. uh, there was a bad spot. Yeah, exactly, and and uh, they just basically didn't have anything for Enzo to do, so they put him on 205 Live. Now, not saying that that wasn't the plan to begin with, but if... You know, his plans will be... They might have fast-tracked that, like nobody else's business. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For sure. And, and yeah, no, 205 Live. I mean, there there's stuff I like about it. Like, I like Drew Gulak. I think he's his gimmick of no-fly zone is hilarious. Yeah. I, I like Jack Gallagher and his umbrella. But, you know, you got, like, Grand Metallic, who just wears a mask. You have... Noam Dar, who just wrestles. You have TJ Perkins, who kind of had a hot start, but now he just... He's just there. Just a whole bunch of guys with no direction. Exactly, for sure. Uh, I fear for 205 Live's future going into 2018. Uh, I'll be very surprised if 205 Live is around in 2019. But, uh, yeah, going into 2018, I I fear for that show's future. Yeah, it's it's not doing well. It's uh, they, They can probably replace it. Like A thing I would like to see is a diva type show where they can promote the women better. Because right now they're kind of... You, you'll see two or three women on each show, but right. the rest of them are just in the background. 